Hello peeps, this is Sausage Fingers, and welcome to a sort of Star Citizen tutorial type thing. One of my most frequently asked questions or insults is, this game is ridiculously overpriced. Now I'm going to address that and make it pretty straightforward because it is quite ambiguous. Star Citizen is not for rich people. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. I am far from rich. I am not rich. Let's put it that way. So, if we go to the score, the, the store, we will have a look at game packages. Now, you can spend a fortune on this game, as you can see there. 18,000 US dollars. That, you are buying everything. You are not buying this game when you spend this money, by the way. You are funding the project. Okay? Now... There are two different games involved. Squadron 42 Standalone Pledge is the single player version of Star Citizen. It is not the online game that you see everybody playing on YouTube. Squadron 42 Standalone is not finished yet. You cannot play it yet. If you buy that, you are funding the project. You are not actually buying the game yet. You will get the game, obviously, but it ain't ready. Let's have a look what you get. And it says exactly what you get. You are getting the Squadron 42 digital download and the for Squadron 42 manual. Now, let's go back. That is 54 US dollars for that single player version of the game. Now, if you buy a Mustang Alpha SC Starter, that's the Star Citizen Starter. Star Citizen is the online version of the game where you see everybody doing all those missions and having a whale of a time on YouTube. Now... This is what I started with, the Mustang Alpha Star Citizen Starter. What we get for that is, you get a hanger, you get the digital Star Citizen manual, you get starting money worth 1,000 UEC. UEC are not in-game yet, so you can't spend that. What we're working on in the game, when you see people buying stuff, is Alpha UEC. They are just testing out the money type scenario at the moment you earn alpha uec in game the same as you will earn uec in game not through buying it with real money you won't be able to do that once the game is finished you can at the moment but you don't have to and there is no advantage whatsoever to doing that none whatsoever right alpha uec can buy you clothes personal weapons armor rearmaments for your ship refueling for your ship and repairs for your ship at the moment there is no advantage to spending real money unless you want to be flying around in a massive great big ship then you buy a new ship you also get three months insurance now the advantage to insurance at the moment none there is no insurance in game at the moment. I'm going to do a video straight after this showing what happens when you die and whether you lose your ship, how to get it back, all that sort of stuff. So at the moment, and what are we in? We are in October 2016. There is no advantage at all to have an insurance. How do you get more insurance when the game is finished? You do not buy it with real money. You earn money in game by playing the missions then you buy your insurance which isn't going to be expensive anyway that's tried and tested in other games and it's a method that works this game isn't pay to win so i think that covers that 54 us dollars for that ship plus the game now when this can get expensive is if we go back and we choose a different ship if we choose for instance the hornet that's 150 US dollars. That is not 150 dollars for the game. You are buying a different hangar, the game soundtrack, the Star Citizen download, starting money 5,000 UEC, a star map, six months insurance, and the manual. Right, what we can do is we can buy this game package. Say if we go Aurora MRSC starter, 54 US dollars. And the reason I choose this ship is because I've got one very similar and I'll show you what to do. Once you've bought the game for 54 US dollars, when the game is finished, you will then be able to upgrade your game, uh, upgrade your ships with, with in-game credits. Not real money, in-game credits. It won't cost you any real money. Now, I've got a Gladius, which is quite expensive, $90. I got this from people like you who use my referral code, so thank you very, very much. 
Now, I want to upgrade this Gladius to a ship worth about 200 bucks. I don't go and buy a ship worth 200 bucks. I melt this one down. I can go and buy it if I want to. But look, that's worth 100 bucks, for instance. I can now go on this and I will pay $12 difference. You do pay the $2, that's a bit cheeky, but I don't just have to pay a zillion pound to get a new ship or a zillion dollars or whatever. I can just upgrade bit by bit at the moment if I want to do that with real cash. When the game is out, I will do that with in-game credits, not with cash. This is not pay to win. You will not have to buy and upgrade new ships. Now, the advantage to having a bigger ship in-game at the moment is zero. The advantage to having a bigger ship when the game is fully complete is pretty much zero. It is a matter of taste. Now, say for instance you've got a Mustang Alpha SE starter. It's not going to be as efficient as something like a Hornet. Now, you are not going to constantly get hounded by Hornets because there is a wanted system in-game at the moment. People who want to be pirates have to take the risk that they are not going to be able to insure their ships. They are going to have a wanted level. Now, other players are going to get are going to get paid in-game credits for killing that pirate. So that pirate has to think very, very carefully whether he goes around griefing people like you, Mr. Mustang Alpha. Now, I've seen Mustang pilots take out Hornet pilots. It's hard, your shields are lower and your weapons are smaller, but it can be done. It all depends on the pilot. All I'm saying is, you do not just buy a ship like this and go around smashing up little ships. That's not what Star Citizen is about. Bearing in mind that there is so much armistice space as well. There is space that is policed. Most space is policed. The minute you fire a shot, you've got a wanted level and all of Crusader security is hammering down on you anyway. So there you go. Now, that is price. This is not an expensive day. Uh, this is not an expensive game. 54 US dollars. What's that in pounds? Let's have a little look. 35 pounds 10 is not expensive. That Mustang Alpha Star Citizen starter is all you will need to play that game. There is no advantage to having one of them as to having one of them. It depends on your role in the game. If you've got a friend who has got a one of them, he can fly with you. He can lend you that ship if he feels that way inclined. He, You cannot nick it. You cannot steal ships in this game. You just can't. And I will show you on the next video why you can't. Right, that's me waffled on. I hope that has made it a bit more, a bit more straightforward as to how inexpensive this game is this is this does not cost as much as a triple a title it is not an expensive game once you have bought it once you have bought it you do not have to buy it again when the game is released that is yours now once you've paid your 54 us dollars that ship is yours when insurance does finally come out if you don't insure it that's your tough but the insurance is going to be cheap you are going to be able to insure your cheap you insure your ship if your ship gets blown up, you just respawn it, you claim on the insurance. There you go. Right. I hope this helped, peeps. I hope this cleared things up because this was one of my issues when I first started this, or when before I bought this game, was to how much this was actually going to cost me. I have paid 30, £35.10. I have paid $54 US for this game. That is it. I have paid not a penny more ever since then, and they are not asking me for any more. If I paid a million pounds into this game, I would have no advantage over someone who had paid 54 US dollars. It's not that type of game. It just isn't. Honestly, I don't work for Star Citizen. I'm not affiliated with Cloud Imperium Games. They haven't paid me nothing. They don't even talk to me, damn it. It's just something I wanted to address because it's... Cloud Imperium Games, this is a bit of a dig at you. You could have made this a lot clearer. You can make this a lot clearer. People just don't understand, in my opinion, like I didn't, what this game costs and exactly what you get for your money. I think it would be so much more popular if it was made a lot clearer. 
because I want everybody to buy this game. It is it is epic. It is still in very, very early alpha, and it is epic already. This is groundbreaking stuff. Anyway, going to stop waffling. Hope this helped. If it did, give us a like and a subscribe. Laters.